Good morning. Um, the sun is not quite up. It is quite early in the morning. I have been up all night. As much as I want to say, like, we are coming on the other side of, of, of babyhood and I am seeing it, there's also many things that we are still in baby land. Anywho, <laughs> I have not been on the YouTubes in a while, so hi, I've missed you guys. Um, coming back on to do Christmas. Uh, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that if, if life gets crazy, and it has, right, in the last couple years, it has been off the chains. I will always sew Easter and Christmas while my little ones are little. So, um, and I will sew them as much as I can as they get older, but I'm not going to force it. I am going to force it while they are little, and they are still little, so we are doing Christmas. In addition to that, I think I'm going to be sewing a dress for myself this year, a Christmas dress for myself for those Christmas pictures. So I'm going to be pulling down my patterns, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I just remember I have patterns. I have like a favorite stash of patterns in my sewing space. It's a hot mess. I've got stuff everywhere. I need to have, like, I don't need to have. I am grateful for what I have. But I'm very excited for the day that I have like a sewing space where everything is where it's going to be. Everything's in this place. Place for everything. That's what I need. I need a place for everything. Because everything is in its place as best as I can do. But I can only do so good because I need more space. Here's, here's a little stash of some of my favorite patterns that I moved here so I'd have to like go climb and do the whole thing in the back room. Let's look loose. Look at that one. I remember making that dress way back when. I loved that dress. What do we think? We have this one. We have this one. And we have this one with questions. But yeah, it's been a minute. The last couple years have been challenging to say the least. I feel like I'm in recovery of not only just babies in general, but doing a building a business under babies and all that sort of stuff. And so I am trying to come back and I'm trying to, um, I don't know, heal? <laughs> Does that make any sense? So I haven't been on here in a while because I've just been in this like recovery sort of stage. And if you, you get that, um, come, come sew with me. I'm getting back into it, trying to use sewing as therapy. I've been talking for many years that sewing is so much more than sewing. So come on, sew with me. We've got Christmas coming up. We've got plenty of time. Come on and join the fun. Alrighty, so we are at farmhouse fabrics.com. It's where I get all of these goodies. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I have been loving Farmhouse Fabrics for, I don't know, 10, um, maybe more years than that. Back in college days. This is where I dove into heirloom sewing and I just love, I, I love I love all their goodies, but I, I, over the years, I've just grown to love their customer service and them and just like all the stuff they go above and beyond. So Farmhouse Fabrics, if you haven't heard of them, like I said, welcome to my channel because I have been endorsing them for a long time. So I am now here at the office. It is the same day as the last clip. Changed my outfit because I realized it's getting a little chilly here in the winter, in the uh, in the mornings and I dropped the kiddos off, so I did that. Don't have any youngsters running around. I've got the AC going on in the background. But um, let me grab my patterns. So here are the patterns that I am kind of uh, the short list of patterns. I haven't quite figured it all out yet, but here's the short list of the patterns, right? So let's, what should we start with? Good question. Let's start with the girls. All right, so. Sweet Henry, 
I have stopped sewing for him by and large unless he wants me to I will show up and sew for him but he doesn't really like the girls love it especially Audrey Everly is a bit on the young side I'm not sure if she loves it yet or not and I haven't been able to do as, as much as I'd like to so there's that but <laughs> I'm just I'm just been doing my best I've just been doing my best especially the last couple years it has been a whole thing and like I said I'm, I feel like I'm in healing okay um, the older three are now in schools and uh, like you know either well, Audrey's in first grade Henry's in pre-k at Audrey's at the same school as Audrey and then um, Daisy's in a preschool program and Everly should be starting sometime soon so we need more teachers just a side note we need more teachers we need to pay them more we need to like appreciate all of the hard work and just love they put into our children to have them grow and develop and have us be able to be here at work and I mean this is a very unique thing that I can bring my kids to work right even though my mind is has seen better days after working under babies that's a whole nother thing they here in the United States we need to value our teachers more okay off of that tangent so where was I? Oh, Henry. I'm not so sewing for him. I'll probably do like a little bow tie and suspenders and just have it be a cute little thing just see if like finding little scraps within the girls' fabrics. Okay, so let's first start with drum roll, please. Let's do Sweet Everly. I'm gonna do this Vogue pattern. Um, it's like a, it's a smocked number underneath. It'll look so sweet. She's been Doing walking for several no. months. I think I might okay. do the one with the collar on it. Yay, so if I'm doing this, I know I gotta, you know, dress fabric. It's gonna be smocked underneath. Some piping would be lovely. Some lace. So I know my puzzle pieces and I'm just gonna fill them in on here. So let's first do fabric. So let's go to there, and I love me some tabs. Love some tabs. Let's go, it's been forever since I ordered fabric. Let's go to heirloom, let's open up that. Let's also open up some silk and some, let's do sateen, if I would be really pretty on this. Um, I do want to smock this, so I don't think I want to use like velvet. Um, although you can smock velvet, but I don't think I want to go there. All right, so we've got that, and let's do some lawn and royal, and let's just kind of see where this takes us, okay? Anything that catches my eye, I'm going to open up a new tab and just see what the short list is, and then you can go from there. Ooh, this could be fun. If I, oh, actually, that's a good idea to go over. They have a flounce section. It's just been forever. It's been forever since I've done this. So they have a flounce. Pretty sure they do. Isn't that crazy? But yeah, if it's been a while since you've done some sewing, I mean, hi. <laughs> Um, it's just, it's, uh, where, where do I even start? So, the older three are in some sort of school program now. I mean, well, let's, first of all, two and a half years ago, the world caught fire, right? We had newborn Daisy, we were doing our own newborn thing, I very much baby my babies, you know, you do what you, what you are comfortable with your own babies and what your lifestyle or not lifestyle what your work allows I know that we have a lot of room for improvement here in the States with maternity leave and just supporting families in general but um, yeah so we were just like doing our own little newborn thing and then came March we were getting ready to come back out into the world with our three-month-old uh, you know third child and the world shut down and so we just have been in this state. And then uh, Daisy and Henry started preschool this past spring, was it? And then Audrey started kindergarten, like, you know, a year ago, fall. Oh, hold on. Sorry, anywho, where was I? Gosh, there's too much stuff going on. Um, 
so yeah, we finally got, you know, Daisy and Henry in, Audrey, so the older three are in, and Everly, we've been looking for a place for her to go into since July. We were hoping, now Henry's gone on to school with Audrey, we were really hoping, because we love the place so much with Daisy, that, you know, they could um, find a spot for Everly, and they did find a spot, but the kicker is that they need two teachers, in her case, because she's potty trained and they're set up at Daisy school they need two teachers to be able to take um, her to the potty it's fine her to the potty so um, instead we are taking her down until they can have another teacher come on we're taking her down the road this is so pretty this is like a side thing a squirrel but how pretty is that that is perfect for spring I can just get a head start on spring can't I let me just add that to the cart Cause it's so pretty. All right, bye squirrel. Anywho, if you're scatterbrained, if you're in the whole thing of healing, hi, like welcome to the club. It has been, it's been a good solid two years of like, you know. So I kind of took a breather from all the things that were not essential for business. I, you know, I try to keep up on, well no, for business related emails, I kept on those. For anything extra, it was just like, I'm sorry, I'm doing my best and this has got to go for my own sanity. Like, I would get emails about, you know, what's the perfect color for this? Or what's, you know, I'm trying to design this for that. And I'm just like, I, I can't, I'm sorry. I, I wish you the best, but I just can't. And um, I didn't work under any of the kiddos as much as possible. I did not one hand type. I've done that enough. I worked under a baby. I've been built businesses under you know babies I've been working helping Charlie with his business he has a side Bronco business um, ooh that's gorgeous spring is gonna be fun this year because I'm gonna be sewing for myself I know I've been saying this for a while but all my kiddos are gonna be in school here soon and I'm gonna be sewing for myself I'm very much looking forward to this oh how cool is that the, oh I love the whole thing okay staying focused so now that almost all the kiddos are in school, I am emerging yet again. Motherhood is like, or really parenthood. Two steps forward, one step back. If you're lucky, right? Some days it's one step forward, two steps back. And it's just like, you feel like you're emerging and then teething or somebody gets sick or like last night or, or whatever. Currently I've been up since 1230. Because that's how it goes and uh, if you know you know and if you don't know it's hard to explain it to people who have never been through it not that I want to rub any salt into any wounds if you haven't been through it and you want to go through it my heart goes out to you I'm not trying to to be like that but you just kiddos like you just kind of strap in hold on tight and and it's just a roller coaster and there are some very sweet precious moments but man that is a lot of holding on especially through a pandemic anywho that's kind of where I've been I've been MIA I've been refusing to work under a baby for my own sanity's sake and just exhaustion exhaustion on top of exhaustion like the last two years have done a number on me and Things were okay uh, before the la the last you know before the world caught fire. They weren't ideal, but they were okay, and I was doing all right. And then the world caught fire, and I. It's a good thing that my husband and I make a good team because that's we just had each other. It was just the two of us. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And uh, we made it, and we. So I'm looking for since I always love. It's still dipping you on it. It's one of my favorite fabrics. I love the flowiness to it. Um, if I smock it, I generally will interface the smocking portion of it. But I love how, like, just the volume of it, you know, it just can stand up on end and it's lovely. So what colors am I thinking of? Well, this champagne could be a fun thing. Oh, I love me a, 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 a this. <clears throat> Whatever it's called. Oh, I've used that before for Christmas. I don't know if it was that particular one, but I have used that idea before with Christmas. I think that was Audrey's first Christmas dress. Don't want to do a chiffon. Although it could be pretty for Audrey's dress. Oh, that actually. Okay, 
Okay, so let's go back to the chiffons. And you can sort by this. Isn't that great? Oh, that would be pretty, especially on Audrey. Audrey has, she looks so grown. I know y'all haven't seen her in a while, but my goodness, she's really grown up. And I mean, the child is six going on 16. You feel me? Um, she is loving first grade. I'm very proud of, of the little girl that she is. And she's kind and sweet and, and, she's, and she's so smart and she's, has, you know, she's driven, she's got that in her. I'm not sure where she gets it from. Okay, maybe I want to use chiffon, maybe I, I don't. I don't know why I'm having such a, such a hard time. Usually the pieces come together better than this. With a, I don't know. It's just been a while, and I, I don't know, the last two years, I don't know, it's getting warm. We can do this, okay? We can do this. So, I think for Daisy, I'm going to be doing the pleated number. I love this dress right here. I think I'm going to do the pleated number for her. I think that would be great in either the Silk de Pignone or a um, sateen type deal. Cotton sateen. Um... And really all their dresses. I'm doing this, this is an old throwback. Um, a Maryland pattern from Children's Corner. I'm doing that for Audrey. And, okay, so let's, okay, let's clear our mind. Let's focus. I don't think the Swiss edging thing is going, to, the flounce is going to work. They usually have a lot of flounces. I'm not sure why they're not showing up. Oops, I'm not sure what's going on with that. I should have more. Maybe if I just type it in. Here we go. All righty. So just type it in. I remember. So they they um, switched websites. Maybe it's been a year now. Who knows with time? Don't 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 trust me with time. Okay. Just goes by. Um. And then you realize one day it's marching across your face. Town marches on, and eventually you realize it's marching across your face. <laughs> oh, I need to get out more. Okay, so this is a hot mess. I don't know why you guys watch my videos, and it's been it's been a while since I've done this. Okay, so if I were to do a flounce for Everly's dress and have that be the border, I love, or sorry, have the border of the flounce be the hem. Love that number. Love that look, and that can give us a direction. Okay which would be good right now because mama needs all the help she can get after the last two and some odd years. It's been rough. So I did this number for Easter last year and it was so much fun. I think it was Daisy's dress, but don't quote me. I used to remember all the details and then you make enough of these things and enough stuff happens to your mind with motherhood and between the two, you don't have a memory anymore. One day, I hope, that will not be the case. Okay, so maybe let's go. Do we see any duplanones that we liked? Let's take the chiffon off and go to duplanone. I love their duplanones. I love, like, they have a wide selection of colors, but I don't know if I'm really feeling it this year. I think I'm going to march my butt over to, so we're gonna close the chiffons. Not really feeling, nothing really spoke to me. You know when something speaks to you, right? Like it just pops out. Okay, another way we can go about doing this. Here's what we can do. Let's search for some trims and laces and things of that nature and see if that can get us to get our act together. You just, once you get one piece of the puzzle, it kind of, you know, it kind of goes. So some ivory would be pretty, some wine color would be um, pretty. I love this of theirs, It's um, that'd be great for the springtime. It's a great way to, actually I used this a while ago, it's a great way, see you look a little Audrey, that was six years ago. 
Um, wait. I don't know what happened. I can't keep up. Anywho, I think I'm gonna go with this bias, um, this Suc de Pignone in the color wine, and I'm going to make notes because you can see the state of my mind. Audrey's oops, dress, which is CC Maryland. I usually do this on my other computer, which has Word, because it, it's a whole thing, but um, it's fine. Bias. So I've just added it, just like item one, you know, quantity one, and I will worry about quantities. I will try, I try to do all one thing at the same time, right? It's just kind of like for, your, for my mind. And you know what will pair well with that? See, now that we have that, let's go back to the Silk de Pignone and let's look again through, um, oh, Silk Satin would also work like a thicker silk satin, that would work. But uh, beware if you are not accustomed, like if you're new at sewing or if you're not accustomed working with silks or whatever, silk satin, I love it, but it is a slippery beast, all right? Silk de Pignone is much more forgiving with handling. Yes, both of them shed like crazy. It's silk. Welcome to the world of silk. It all sheds all over you. The silk de pignone is a slippery sucker. So, du, silk de baba. Du pignone. Let's look for like an ivory sort of color to go well with that wine shade that we just picked out. Lady Fingers Beige. Ooh, that could be pretty. This Champagne Kiss. Ooh, oatmeal. Silk satin and ivory. Ooh, this is also pretty. Cottage cream. And they have porcelain. That would be gorgeous. And then they have champagne toast. Okay, so now we are we are working. We got options. We got to um, go through colors. Do we want silk de pignone or do we want silk satin? That's a good question. Now the silk de pignone is gonna be more of an outward, you know, volume, all that stuff, and the satin is going to move more. I'm kind of leaning towards the silk satin. So let's do that. We can always put like a petty four underneath and get some volume that way and still have the movement. That's a gorgeous shade. Look at that. That is really something special. Let's leave that open. And let's do the champagne toast for Audrey. Okay, so um, let's make note of that. For the fabric is going to be that. All right, so Audrey is done. Now, we're moving right along. So, we're going to go through and I'm going to, let's see. For Daisy, let's do this ivory. Let's make notes of that before I forget what I'm doing. So, for Daisy fabric, we're gonna have that there. And we should have something with more body and stiffness to it for those pleated sections. So, the pleated fabric. Let's search for that. So if we have an ivory dress, then, and I really like the red piping that's on the thing. I think I'm going to carry that out. All right, this is becoming a hot mess, but right now I've got, okay, I, I'm, I am figuring it out. I, it, hopefully I'm not the only one that's like this, especially coming back to sewing. It's just like, you gotta dust off the wheels, okay? And we're dusting it off. We're figuring it out. We've got, we've got Audrey's dress. We've got this, um, the silk satin and ivory with the wine underneath. And remember, the wine started us all off. This wine bias band. It was like, let's do that. Let's go a little more sophisticated, a little more grown up than the Christmas red. Not that there's anything wrong with Christmas red. It is beautiful. But I was like, let's just branch out a little bit. Let's do this wine thing, okay? And we'll do that for the the little trim scallopy thing situation that she's got underneath the stress on the Maryland, okay? So we're doing that, pairing it with the ivory in the silk satin, which I'm really excited about. So now we can branch off and let's like kind of have them all coordinate. So I've got this wine sateen piping. 
for daisies. And Daisy's got um, got actually a bunch of piping and some, oh, she's got a little opportunity for buttons on the sleeve, all about buttons. So we're gonna go find some buttons for that. And I'm doing pairing that with this Silk de Pignone Cottage Cream. And I think this whole creamy, like off-white situation will be really just a, a, a neat way to go this year. So let's go find some wine buttons. Their search on their new website is amazing. The category theme works here and there. I'm not sure, really sure what's going on with it, but the search has improved a lot. They, um, they changed, oh, what are those? Those are cool. Ooh, look at those. That's been bringing all the bling. Um, they changed their website about, maybe it's been a year, don't quote me on time. And, um, oh, I love the velvet number. I love the texture, right? We're getting into fall and winter. It's all about the texture. So I think I'm gonna lean towards the velvet. Oh, I love me a good bling. But let's, let's go with the velvet thing, okay? Um, also though, I wonder if they've got, hold on. They have a number of covered buttons. Covered button. I believe they're by Vera Wang. They're like a satin, yeah, Vera Wang satin, blah, 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 blah all the colors look at all these colors ooey gooey love it merlot so there's that or we could just go like a not trying to match it sort of thing right just a ooh, we could do an ivory that would be fun and let's go back to our cart to kind of refresh us on the colors so we're going to use this cottage cream now do we want the cottage cream with an ivory or do we want it with that is too big. Or do we want it with a Merlot? It's a good question, life decisions. Okay, so what color is the sleeve gonna be? So we have um, this for the main part of the dress. Maybe we do like a lighter um, color for the little sleeve cuff, the collar and the pleat, the pleated thing. Shame. This could be fun. Gosh, this could be like an all day situation, okay? And I would not be mad with it. <laughs> so we have this, do we wanna pair that? I don't think we wanna pair those two together. I think we wanna go a little bit lighter than that. I'm thinking we want to go with this oatmeal color and blend those two together. So let's do oatmeal. Daisies, let's just call it main fabric and then we'll have like, um, scent fabric we'll have the oatmeal color and so that's going to be an oatmeal color so let's do red on top of it let's do this merlot um buttons do we want we want two four let's just do six let's do let's do two add our buttons now on to Everly's dress. Okay, so we're we're figuring it out. It's coming together. Pieces of the puzzle. It's been a while. It's all good. It's all good. We're figuring it out. So we can close that. Close that. X out of that. X out of that. We are on to Everly's dress, which has the smocking going on. And um, hmm. so we've got this whole cream, such you know, cream and and, and red wine thing going on. So with that in mind, what do we want to do for that sweet girl? Do we want to get more of the fabric we've already picked out and kind of do that? Possibly. Do we want to look at something else? Maybe. Let's go back to the sateen with our new uh, found color motif in mind thinking we might do a sateen for her. It would pleat beautifully. Um, I like it, you know, something dressy, but you don't want silver velveteen. It'd be on the thicker side, I like that. I think we should go with ivory. Or should we do white with ivory piping? Oh, hmm. No, we should do ivory with white piping. I know, I need to get out more of it, so dress fabric and now let's look for piping which we want to be 
white. They have some silk charmeuse piping I have been using for years and it is, it's just all the things you want. Oh, this, no, where'd all these colors go? Y'all, okay, so we want white piping. Maybe we can find like some satin that would have a nice sheen to it. I think I'm just gonna do uh, white and I'm going to do the satin batiste. So that's gonna be the piping. Yeah, at least for the collar. Let's do that. Let's go to the laces. Let's go and venture into the Malayne lace. Because it is Christmas after all. That is gorgeous. Let's do edging. Love that feature. Oh, let's see what their Christmas motifs are. Christmas trees, I've used that before. I do love it, it's pretty, I just used it before, so I just kinda wanted something, you know, I haven't used before. That's pretty. That's in champagne, which I don't think I want that color. I think I wanna stick with like white. So if we do an inch, let's do like five, hmm. around the collar. Decisions, decisions. Let's do, let's go an inch around everywhere. So we have the collar and the sleeves on collar and sleeve lace. And that's that. So, bada bing, bada bong. It happened, right? Now, we're gonna do a dress for myself. I know, I know. I don't know who I am anymore. We've got three choices. So, we have this thing, this thing, this lovely dress, this vintage number from Vogue, which I think these just go back into there. Then we have this one and this one. I remember making a dress, the dress I made when back in high school using this pattern, I wore out. I loved this thing. So I think I'm gonna go with that. I love that it has this little uh, burlot, is that how you say it? The little fancy coat number for winter. And then it has a sleeveless thing so I can, if I pick out the right fabrics, right, I can kind of like have it be double dippy maybe, like do it for Christmas, have the little thing for the fanciness, and then allow myself to, um, so my dress, what? Who am I? Um, and then transition into springtime, right? So I think for the for the fancy doodad that I can't say, maybe we should do a wool number. And wool, guys, or a velveteen. Velveteen could be fun too. Wool, if if you are not familiar, I was not familiar. And then a couple years ago, I saw all the stuff in New York and felt it all. Like wool. It's not just the thick stuff that you're, you know, that everyone kind of knows. You can have super thin wool to the point you can run it through a smocking pleater and it will pleat beautifully. And I've done from the thin stuff to the thick stuff and I love it all in between. Nothing behaves like wool. If you can master wool, you are, you're doing it, right? Um, not to say I've mastered it, but I do love, love a good wool. So we've got this whole cream and burgundy wine thing. Um, I guess blue could go with that. That could be fun. I don't know. What do we want to do? What do we want to do, right? Like, ah, sewing for myself? Who am I? We could do a gray. No, the gray wouldn't go with cream. Let's not, let's not do that. Oh, but they do have a cream. Milk froth. I would call that cream, right? We're in the cream category. So there's that. Let's see what other things. Coffee creamer, hey, y'all are picking up on this like whole cream thing, we're in it. Ooh, we also have a garnet. With the garnet, now let's stay away from that, the wine. I can feel myself starting to like come out of it. Ooh, that could be fun. A wool flannel winter white. That sounds delicious. I feel like you're coming back to it, okay? It just takes a little bit of like dusting stuff off, greasing the wheels, figuring out how to do it again, coming back to the world. It's all good. It takes baby steps. Happens to me. You just saw it all happen. It's all good, but you gotta just get the wheels in motion. Just kind of get them going. Get some, even if you don't feel motivated, like. 
just turn the computer on or just pick up a needle, thread it. Next thing you know, you'll be doing some hand embroidery. Turn your machine on. Next thing you'll know, you'll be, you'll be sewing for 30 minutes, an hour, however long. You'll lose track of time. Get it going. Like the first steps are the hardest. And people ask about my motivation and it comes and goes. And I've had four babies and I've been through the last two years of the world being on fire and, and all the sleepless nights and all the stuff that goes with four babies and moving and building businesses and all the stuff. And sure, my motivation and my energy level has come and gone. But I would say by and large, dial in on your nutrition get as much sleep as life will allow you to have Ooh, that's cool and then beyond sleep and nutrition and you know exercise things like that get the things in motion what do you want to do do you want to sew turn your machine on don't allow your brain to say no not today i got dishes to do or i got this or i'm just not feeling like it okay how many people i'm just not feeling it'll be tomorrow no, turn your machine on. If you got the time, if you know, just start it. Turn your computer on, go to farmhouse, start your order, okay? You don't have to finish it today, but chances are, if you give a mouse a cookie, right, it just sort of goes. So, that's my two cents of advice on that. Oh, so many fun colors and wool, guys. You are killing it. You're killing it. So much fun stuff. The houndstooth is a great option. I made a coat for Audrey using that, uh, was it been two or three years now? Love me a good houndstooth. Such a classic, just uh, all the good stuff. Oh, I used that for PJ bottoms. Love those. Um, so guys, you're just killing it with wool. So many choices. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. Oh, decisions, decisions. Oh, this wool chalice. So this, this thing, every time I've had this fabric, this chalice, C-H-A-L-L-I-S, you can, I've been able to run that through my smocking pleater and it is beautifully, it pleats up beautifully. Love it. Yeah, I'm a big wool fan. Wool options, we've got this um, dusty navy color, red wine and a cream. I'm thinking it might be too much of like a, you know, USA sort of patriotic thing, which is not the look I'm going for for Christmas, so we'll, we're gonna pass. Now we have this tropical weight in milk froth. Let's pass on that, it might be too lightweight. We also have an Italian sweater knit. Look at that, burlo jacket. That's what I'm going for, y'all. Okay, so this is still in the running. Looking at this, perfect for jackets, a wool flannel, yada, 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 winter. I like that one as well. This one you can see the texture in, which I am like, it's calling my name. I like the texture. So we have two that you can see the texture in that says Busel that I'm sure I'm mispronouncing. I'm sorry, I do my best. Um, so we've got, I think between this Busel, blah, blah, whatever, <laughs> French vanilla and cream. French vanilla or cream? French vanilla or cream? White, like off-white or off-white? I don't know. Off-white or off ah! Life decisions. Oh, well, we also have this one, this Merlot. Um, let's, ooh, ooh, life decisions. Okay, okay, let's be bold. Still have four young babies. We're gonna live life on the edge. We're gonna go with a vanilla shade of some sort. Cream or French vanilla? Let's do cream. <laughs> that and then the dress fabric so let's do something maybe like a, a floral that will transition into spring we're going to go to fabrics and go to floral and I'm thinking maybe like a cream base with some red flowers something like that that's kind of cool you know and then it can transition into spring you with me Michael Miller is killing it with, actually a, a lot of people are killing it with like, um, uh, oh that's so sweet, with like, you know, um, what's it called? Liberty of London. Look at those. Riley Blake. You know, they're kind of like that sort of feel without the price tag, which, um, you know, not mad about. Mm. 
that's neat. I just haven't been in this world in forever. I'm like, there's all this new fabric, all these new designs. Riley Blake, we got fabric finders. We got all these people, Michael Miller, just killing it. So many cool stuff. So if you haven't, if you're like, come back to the world, it's okay. You know, I'm coming back to it, come back with me. It's all good. I know the last couple of years have been really rough. Trust me, I was there. <laughs> I got the t-shirt, not a fan. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't want that much organization in my life. Ooh, that's pretty. Cream garden. Would that work for Christmas? Maybe. No one's looking at me anyways, and you, right? Like in the pictures, I got four four adorable children. If I may say so myself, I know I'm biased, but I got four adorable children. No one's gonna be looking at me, and that would transition lovely to springtime. So that would that's in the in the short list. Ooh. That's also fun. Ooh, so fun. I'm so happy to be back in sewing. Not even sewing yet. I'm just picking up. It's just, oh, oh, I love it all. Love it all. Okay, let's see what our choices are. We've got this, which I'm not loving so much now that I saw the other the other options. So that's good. Sorry, it just X'd out on me. So it's from Fabric Finders. Um, love the whole garland thing. Love the feel of it for Christmas. It's from Fabric Finders, which I love their whole, um, Anything from Fabric Finders, I'm a fan of, okay? Love their stuff. Um, so that's on the short list. This is so fun. Is it so much Christmassy? Not really. No. Do I like it? Yes. This is also great. Um, this is on a soft white background. See this one, it says, actually it doesn't say white or is it like an ivory color? That's a good question. Then there's this, which is on a, which is maroon on a, I don't want that one. No, that's gonna be too busy. Then there's just black, which is kind of neat, right? Like black and gray floral on ivory. It's kind of neat, although I kind of wanted some red, so maybe not. That's beautiful. It just, it just is. It's just beautiful. It's not for Christmas. It's definitely a spring look, but it's just pretty. Okay, resisting, being good. I do like that a lot. For me, I think it's between the that this one right here, which I know is not Christmassy, and this one right here. I'm gonna go with this one. All right, decision's been made road is full of squirrels who can't make up their mind so there we go bada bing bada bong we have christmas picked out so exciting so if you're coming back to the world welcome i will be doing videos on sewing these garments up um spread them i am coming back my children are going into school i am healing from the last couple years i hope you are healing as well Come join me if you've been missing some motivation, inspiration, whatever. I hope to um, help in some small way of filling up your cup. I would be honored. I would be honored if in some small way I can help to fill your cup up and help just be a light, right? We all want to be a light for each other. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm also coming back to doing YouTube videos. I am dusting off that dust as well. All right. Enough of my hot self. I'll catch you in the next one, I hope. Thanks, guys.